In this homework problem, we're asked to find an exponential equation, an exponential function, uh, that goes through two points. The general form of a exponential function is y is equal to a times b to the x power. So we're trying to find the a and b that would make this work. The problem said... The problem asks us to find a differential, uh, an, an exponential function that goes to the point minus 3, 2 sevenths, and 3, 54. If this function goes through this point, then... 2 27ths, the y value of this point, must equal a times b to the minus 3 power. Uh, essentially what we did is just substitute in the x and the y values of this point into the x and y values of the function that we're looking for. Similarly, if this function goes through this point, then... Then 54, the y value of this point, is equal to a times b to the third power, the x value of this point. So now we've got two equations and two unknowns. An extremely rough sketch of this uh, would look something like this. We're looking for the, the point minus 3, 2 27ths. So when we're over here to minus 3, we're up just barely off from the x-axis. And when x is 3, y is 54, quite a ways up here. If uh, x is 0, then y is a. I'm not sure where that is. Some, something up here. And we're expecting to have a, an exponential curve that's looking something like this. Okay, So that's what we're looking for. So we'll solve this system of equations by substitution. Let's pick one of the equations. I'm going to pick this second one and uh, solve it for one of the variables. It will be easy to solve for a. So divide both sides by b, b cubed. Um, I'm going to rewrite this as 54b to the negative 3 power. So solving this one equation for a, a is equal to 54 to the 54 times b to the negative 3 power, we'll substitute that value of a into this other equation. We're going to take this value of a, 54b to the negative 3rd power, and substitute that a value into this other equation right here. So 2 27ths is equal to 54b to the negative 3, that's what the a value is, times times this b to the negative 3. Now this equation only involves b's so that we can solve for b. Simplifying the right hand side becomes 54b to the negative 6. This b to the negative 6 is like dividing by b to the 6th power so I want to multiply both sides of this equation by b to the 6th. Now, don't get lost in the algebra here. We, uh, we multiplied both sides of the equation by b to the 6th and multiplied both sides of the equation by 27. So we get that amount. So b to the 6th is equal to 54 times 27 divided by 2, and the 2 will cancel with this uh, 54, so that becomes... So that becomes 27 times 27. So, because 27 is 3 to the 3rd power, this is 3 to the 3rd power times 3 to the 3rd power. So b to the 6th is equal to 3 to the 6th power. Whoever made up this problem was trying to make it really easy for us because now it's easy to find the 6th root of both sides and b is going to have to be equal to 3. Okay, we're halfway there. What we needed to do was to find an a and b so that this exponential equation goes through those two given points. 
That is so that this exponential equation goes through these two given points. So let's take this value that we know that b is equal to and plug that into this other equation um, that we know has to be satisfied and find out what a will have to be. That means that 54 will need to be equal to a times b, which happened to be 3, raised to the third power. There's an awful lot of 3's in this problem. Don't get mixed up about which ones are which. We've got this b value, which is 3. We're plugging that b value into this equation to get this equation. Okay, So this 3 is this 3. And of course, there's the 3 that was there. Um, the particular problem that you have might not have so many repeated threes, but just kind of keep track of where they are. So let's solve this equation to find out what uh, a has got to be. 3 to the third power is 27, and we need to put, divide both sides by 27. So a becomes 54 divided by 27. Oh, this they've made the arithmetic turn out just entirely too easy here. Uh, 27 goes into 54 exactly two times. So we found out what B was by first solving one of the equations for A, substituting that value into the other equation, and discovering what B was. Once we knew what B was, we could substitute it back into the other equation and find out what A is. So now we know that the exponential equation that we're looking for is y is equal to 2, the a value that we found, times 3, the b value that we found, raised to the x power. There we have it our exponential equation is going to be y is equal to 2 times 3 to the x power. So we can enter that 2 times 3 raised to the x power, and it checks the syntax for us. Make sure that we've got that uh, written the way that we want it to. And of course, we can check uh, that value, and sure enough, uh, it agrees with the answer key. Okay, good luck on that problem.